You know, a growing number of identity theft victims are not adults. Instead, they're just kids. And to make matters worse, they may not find out they've been victimized until years later when their credit is already destroyed. Well, tonight, in our Stealing You report, Joanne Purden looks at the problem and what you or your kids could be doing to put them at risk. It was an exciting time of her life. Axton Betts Hamilton remembers when she was 19 years old and getting her first apartment. But when she signed up for utility service, they told her, We need a $100 deposit due to your credit score. Confused, she ordered her credit report, and what she found was shocking. It was 10 pages long, full of fraudulent credit card entries and associated collection agency entries. It turns out her identity had been stolen when she was 11. More on how it happened in a minute. But first, Axton would be well into adulthood before she'd managed to clear her name. My credit report was damaged from 1993 to 2009. She's made it her life's work to educate others about child identity theft, even did her Ph.D. on it. She's a professor now. She says your child's name, address, and birth date are all pieces to the puzzle. Their social security number, gold. You should limit very much where your child's social security number is shared. And ask questions when it's requested, say at a school or a doctor's office. Why do they need it? How do they store it? And how do they get rid of it? If it's a weak answer, like, well, we, we always just collect it. We always just have it. Well, no, they don't need it. Kids also do things to make themselves easier targets, putting pieces to their identity all over social media. You can find birth dates everywhere. But a sad reality of child identity theft is something Betts Hamilton knows all too well. Child identity theft is that it's often committed by someone who's known to the child. In Axton's case, it was her own mother. I felt like I'd been kicked in the stomach. And she didn't discover it until after her mom died a year ago. All these years, she had no idea that her mom was living what she believes now was a double life. The person I knew as my mother, the woman that my dad spent 44 and a half years of his life with, is not the person that she seemed to be. She still grapples with why, but in the meantime, she's dedicated her life to keeping others from living this nightmare. I decided to make something good come from the one experience that had defined my life to date. I'm Joanne Purton, 7 Action News. Wow, hard to believe that one. A new law in Michigan allows you to put a freeze on your child's credit report with the three credit reporting bureaus. Essentially, that means no one can open credit in their name using their social security number. We have some great resources about child identity theft on our homepage at WXYZ.com. Oh,